Hi, I am Anand Mahajan, your instructor for this course. Uh, now we are going to discuss a very important topic that is array of objects. When we people have many objects to work with, it's very impractical to have as many object names. So what we can do is, we can have an array of objects like this. Suppose name of array is ER, then ER0 will represent the first object, ER1 second object, ER2 third object, ER3 fourth object and so on ERN. So this is how we deal with this problem of having multiple objects. So let me uh, uh, let me show you an example of array of objects. We clicked on file C, C++ source. There is no need to create an object because we are going to have a single file and file name with full path. Uh, let me go to my folder of choice. Uh, Mahajans, right. So you can choose the folder of your own choice. Uh, okay, you'd may. Then let me go to C++ course. Yes. Okay. Then programs. Okay. So let me give uh, the name of the new file. C++ file. Uh, let me give it a suggested name array of objects. Okay. Now click on finish. So we will be doing a couple of uh, things like including IO stream header file, right? Then using namespace std, standard namespace is being included. Then uh, let me create a simple class with the name and price. Okay, I have taken a uh, taken an instance variable e code that stands for employee code of long data type. Then for basic salary b sal int data type variable and then hra happens to be a flow so three instance variables are enough so, uh, now i am going to have a member function read underscore data whereby i will be reading the values for these instance variables okay see out and i'll enter the employee code basic salary HRA okay that's it this is the prompt now let me create the C in stream input stream for reading these values C in extraction operator e code extraction operator B sal extraction operator HRA so far so good okay then I am going to have uh, a function member function with the name calc underscore net salary uh, that will be calculating the net salary of the current object and returning it back okay quite simple float n cell n cell is equal to b cell plus hra okay then return okay return n cell so great job now let me give uh, this comment end of class a class is always terminated by a semicolon so now we are going to write down this main function right so let me execute uh, an object of the employees class i'm sorry this time over let me create an array of objects for the employees class so I'm giving the command declaration of array of objects of three objects rather. So three objects would be created in the form of an array. Right. So as I have told you uh, previously also an array name is uh, sorry a class class uh, classes are user defined data types so if someone asks you what is the data type of this array er you would say employees so data type of this array is employees right so i am going to apply a loop because it's a matter of array 
so i and t c is equal to zero here you can see that in c plus plus we people are allowed to declare a variable within the for loop itself so i and t c is equal to zero is very well okay so the first time the value of c would be zero c is less than three condition would be checked condition is true it will come down to the following statements so the first call would be like er0 dot read underscore data right so control will go into read underscore data and whatever values the user will give those will be put into these instance variables for the current object er0 and let me calculate the net salary and get it returned calc underscore net salary er0 dot calc underscore net salary then right this is our these are these are these are our functions member functions you can have a look right so next time value of c would be one condition would be tested and er1 dot read data will be in operation so it will the control will go to read data for the second object similarly er1 dot calc underscore net salary is going to print the net salary of the second employee that is second object so um, similarly then the value of c will become 2 and er2 dot read data and er2 dot calc underscore net salary will be uh, will be in action so this is the whole scenario so i pressed uh, okay i pressed f9 but there is a problem the problem is our methods read data and calc underscore net salary they ought to be public because we are calling it from outside the class employees okay uh, that's uh, that was necessary okay now net salary so so this is it and to the employee code basic salary and hra i'm giving the values like 101 12900 so this is the net salary for the first employee first object sorry first object was er0 that is the first element of your array of objects and this is for the second and this is for the third okay enter the employee code this is this, this this is the data is being is being acted upon for er2 so net salary of the third employee that is third object is getting printed so uh, this was the whole program i think you were able to understand it when we people are supposed to have multiple objects then it is uh, almost impossible to declare so many objects and call the methods that is functions individually for those methods so it bet, it's better to have array of objects and by applying the loops we can work uh, very well so again once we have given the values let me show you the diagram again in that case the diagram will look like this initially these elements uh, these elements of our array of objects were empty but now er0 is containing 101 12900 er1 is containing 102 15000 1120 and so on so these are just hypothetical values so we could have uh, taken an array of more number of elements also so this was the topic of array of objects